Great and Nelly Cootalot. Nelly? Sleepy time now. Nelly! Avast! Steal yourself afore turning to behold the spectre of the dreaded Captain Bloodbeard. Ugh. Truly, many tides have come and gone since I danced the hemp and jig. So tis the fate of us all. So tis the fate of us all. But now, Captain Cootalot, I return from the depths of Davy Jones's. A brief reprise only to see ye. Me? Why? My time above the waves grows short, but I tell you this. In life, I was the scourge of the South Seas and champion of all creatures sweet and defenseless. That mantle I now pass on to ye. Really? What does that mean? Yonder island be a salty backwater called the Barony of Meath, once famed for a mighty fleet of saucy birds called Spoonbeaks. I love Spoonbeaks! For many days now, not a Spoonbeak has been seen on the Isle of Meath. What? They have vanished, every one, and that be a terrible omen of ill fortune. They must be found. Accept ye the quest? Aye, aye, Captain Bloodbeard. I'll conjure a ghostly current to carry ye to the shores of Meath. Unravel the mystery, Nelly, and save the Spoonpeaks. I give you these words. Look to the Baron. Farewell. Bye. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my adventuring corset. It's Nelly time. If I want to explore this island, I'll be needing a map. The Cutania doesn't sail in the traditional sense. I can't actually control where it goes, and right now I want to be here. I think it might fall down if I touched it. Heard of this place? It used to be popular back in the heyday of piracy. I can't see any crows. Either that's Riggin or this island has huge spiders. I hope Riggin. It is fun to stroke cactuses, but I'm on a mission. I wonder if that's the famous Da Vinci cod. It's of a galley. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. I don't want to just tear it off the wall. Ahoy, fellow sea dog. <laughs> uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being a pirate. <laughs> That's laughing. That it be, little miss, not a pirate. I am a pirate just like you, except cleaner and prettier, less smelly, and without that world-weary glaze to me eyes. <laughs> you aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. Shut up. I'm the fearsome pirate Nelly Cootalot. I'm so piratey, I can... I don't need to impress you. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Can I take this map? I don't know, miss. That map be steeped in nautical history and pirate lore. It don't belong in the hands of landlubber Grockle. It says a tourist's guide to the Barony of Meath. Okay, take it. Now I can explore the island. I don't want anything from the shelves. Oh, look, an indigo tankard.
Ahoy there. Welcome to the scurviest pirate bar in the South Seas. Captain Nelly Cootelot, at your service. May I be asking, what brings you to the Barony of Meath? I'm on a Spoonbeak rescue mission. Well, I sure hope you get lucky. Where could I find a Spoonbeak? Them goofy looking birds? Proud and noble creatures, yes. Used to be all over this island, they did. Haven't seen any recently, though. Who calls the shots around here? Well, I'm the proprietor. No, I mean, who's in charge of the island? Suppose that'd be Baron Widebeard. Baron Widebeard? Uh-huh. You'll know him if you see him. What drinks do you serve? We've a whole caboodle of buccaneer beverages. Blackbeard's rum, peg leg, Texas medicine, Admiral Nosehair's old unsanitary, poop deck, and cat guts. Let me know if any of them interest you. Tell me about Blackbeard's rum. They used to make it from authentic Blackbeard. Nowadays, it's mostly old rope and tar. Ugh. What's Pegleg like? It has quite a kick. I have to keep it in isolation, else it rattles the other drinks off the shelf. What's Texas medicine? It's a powerful concoction. Not for the faint of heart. Or stomach. Tell me about Admiral Nosehair's old and sanitary. It tastes fine, but don't look too closely at the floaty bits. What's poop deck? Very popular with your young party pirate types. It's a girl's drink. Don't listen to him. Cat guts better not be made out of cats. Whoa, Nelly! It got that name because of its feline and bravening qualities. What? It makes moggies tougher. Gives cats guts. Oh, okay. Never mind. I want a drink, but I don't want to spend any money. You're in a pickle. Hey, maybe Captain Rehab will offer to buy you a drink. Don't even joke about that, Friday. Time to set sail. Bye now. Avast. What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory minimum donation of one dollar. Eh, this is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. A donation box for the rogues gallery. Avast. What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory minimum donation of one dollar. Eh, this is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. Bjorn and Olafsson, Nautical and Piracy Supplies, established 1735. Bjorn and Olafsson, Nautical and Piracy Supplies, established 1735. I'd love to tear it down and stamp it into a papery mush, but it says defacing this poster is an offence punishable by transmutation. Also, it's too high. It's fine where it is. can see all kinds of piratey kit inside. They're all a bit gory for my taste. Hello, aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. It's a bit out of my price range. I'd wipe the sultry pout off her face. If it wasn't for me old nemesis, the breakages must be paid for policy. The gaps are pretty big, it'd only work for sharks and stuff. They've got an amazing range. I think the Cutania would overbalance with that thing on her. 
my life would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way. But I can't afford a sword. It's just for show. There's no treasure in it. Gentlemen, I would like to buy this eye hook. That is being marvelous. Seven hundred dollars, please. The wrist guard is being extra. Will you be paying in coin or bullion? About that. Will you accept bullion rather than bullion? You cannot be buying quality nautical supplies with a kind of thin broth, young lady. Curses. Will you accept an IOU? No, we are finding it unwise to trust pirate types. No offense, men. That's all right. I was trying to scam you. Can I trade you something for it? Possibly. We are trading in all kinds of nautical memorabilia. Bones, beard cuttings, pictures and clothes. But you would have to be swapping something pretty special to get an eye hook, though. Will you just please give it to me? Of course. On the condition that you are giving us seven hundred dollars first. Gah! A pox on trade. A pox on commerce. A pox on the Protestant work ethic that catalyzed the rise of capitalism, directly causing my current predicament. Never mind, I don't want it. I don't have a cannon. They've got an amazing range. I still have two legs. And release Vin Diesel? 